The Far West by Patricia C. Reedy is the final book in her Frontier Magic trilogy, and I have to say, it ties off the series very nicely. It still contains everything that I loved about the first two books. Engaging narrative, witty characters, and fun alternate history. I've mentioned before how stunning the narration is because it just instantly draws you in. Usually, I have trouble with something when the text is this thick with not a lot of dialogue, but the voice of this character is just so engaging and intriguing, it just pulls you right in. With each book, Reedy has delved farther and deeper into this world that she has created, introducing in each new and interesting creatures that have until this point been undiscovered. As I said, this nicely ties off the series, but I was a little surprised by some of the things that she left unexplained. They were all exterior, none of them character related, so don't panic, it's not like a gaping hole left in the story. There was just this unexplained phenomena in the world that I assumed would be answered by the end of the series. Finally, after two whole books, I got to see some romantic subplot here. I was actually surprised how little the romance subplot comes into play. I mean, it's definitely there, and it definitely works for the story, but I was just surprised that it wasn't one of the, the main focuses of the book, and I was actually... I was actually really okay with that, because I realized that it fit right with the character. I mean, the romance isn't integral to the story. I mean, I mean, it's an important part of the story, but it's not the purpose of the book. The purpose of the book is not for her to find Mr. Wright. The purpose of the series is to find what she wants to do and how she goes after and pursues it. And I really liked that, because it's a series more about self-discovery. And it was really in keeping with that theme to only have this romance subplot going on really in the background. Now me, I like dramatic love stories as much as the next girl. I mean, Pride and Prejudice, Jane Eyre, come on people. These are great stories, but for this series, I definitely approved of how the romance is handled. The only thing that I didn't like about this book, there is a mention of what is basically a condom spell. Um, it's mentioned a couple of times, it's never used, it's never mentioned really in a positive manner. The character doesn't appreciate this knowledge at that point in time, but she didn't store it away for later. I took issue with this, but I also didn't think that it felt right for the story. It just... not very frontiersy, if I do say so myself. But considering that out of three books in the Young Adult Trilogy, that is the only thing that gave me pause in these stories, that's definitely a win. This is a wonderful series, alternate history, colloquial language, and fun creatures. I mean, there are dragons and mammoths and saber cats in this, covered wagons, little houses on big prairies, and magic. How can you not want to read this? The Far West by Patricia C. Reedy gets 4 out of 5 stars, and I would definitely recommend this to anyone who likes westerns, historical fiction, fantasy, or alternate history. Got quite a range of genres there, so if you guys are looking for a good read, I would definitely pick this series up.